Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I am going to start the playwright with the JavaScript. Okay, so I will discuss from scratch how we set up the environment and how we run the uh, playwright test and how we generate the playwright uh, packages, how we install the playwrights, all those we will discuss. Okay. So here there are some points we need to follow these to set up the uh, playwrights environment in local machine in any machine. First of all, we need to install the Node.js. Why the Node.js? Because Node.js is JavaScript package modules which will helps to execute the JavaScript program. Okay. So as we are going to use the playwright with JavaScript, so here we need the Node.js. Similar type, if we want to work on Java, then we need the JDK, which will provide an environment to develop the Java based programs, Java based applications, right? Same type, Node.js helps JavaScript to execute and uh, locally. Next, I will show how we install the playwrights. So, when after that, when we install the playwrights, by default, it will generate some files. Okay, so we need to we will discuss what packages it will install. Next, we will run some dummy test which is by default created by the playwright, and then we I will show you how we open the report and how the reports will looks like. Okay, so now let's start. So first of all, we need to download the Node.js if Node.js is not installed in your system. So click on the link you have link https nodejs.org right here we can download click to install you can see the installer is started click on next accept the term and condition of license agreement click on the next this is the default location where nodejs will install okay click on next button these are some default options leave it click on the next and then click on next click on click on yes so it will take few seconds to install all the packages okay node just install successfully click on finish button once the node just install open command prompt okay and check the node version so node hyphen b here hyphen b here you can see the node version is 18.12.0 so this is the latest version installed so once the node.js is installed okay next step we need to uh, set up and install the playwright okay next we need to install the playwright so what is the command we need to run for the playwright okay so we have npm init playwright at the rate latest so at the rate latest here added so that it can download and install the latest package so where we need to install and set up the uh, npm project so we have one folder here right see like demo folder I switched here demo folder so if I will run any command here so playwright will generate the packages here so what command I need to run so here is the npm init so this command we need to run okay so now I am running the command you can see first option this is asking do you want to use the typescript or javascript so as of now, I'm going to use the JavaScript. So I will select JavaScript. Just scroll down your arrow key. It will select the JavaScript and then enter. Next, this is asking where to put your end-to-end -end test. So as of now, you can see here there is a default name is added test. So if you want to change, give the new name. But if you want to put the same like test, click on enter. 
Next, it is asking GitHub action workflow. If yes, it will create. If no or false, it will not create. So go in default. So this is now asking install Playwright browsers. Okay. So if we mark this true, it will install the Playwright browser also. Now it's initializing the npm. So packet just JSON file is created with this data. Okay. And then in now it is installing the playwright file now it's downloading the browsers okay download is done and you can you can see all these are successful done and in the folder if i go here you will see there are some default files are created one is the node modules folders test folders test examples git ignore packet.json packet.lock.json and then playwright config file so in the node modules all the node modules like packages will download and install under this node module section like playwright library is downloaded and installed here in the test this is the test folder where we need to write our test script. If I go here, you will see one sample file is created. Next, there is a test example folder. Here, some sample test file is created. Git ignore file, this is related to git file. Okay, where we can add some uh, code to, which we, we don't want to check in in the GitHub. So packet.json file is created here in the packet.json you will see there are dependencies are added one dependency added playwright this is the latest version 1.2.7.1 packet.json log.json this is generated by the npm and then we have here packet config file okay so this file will use by the playwright okay this is the configuration file of the playwright we will discuss in more details in the coming tutorials now our setup is done and on the console you can see if we want to run the test there is a command this is suggestion suggested by the playwright we can run npm playwright test so let me run npm playwright test you will see Test will execute in the headless mode. Headless mode means here the execution you will not see, only you will see the reports once the execution will done. So by default it will run on the three browsers. That's why we are seeing here running three tests using three workers. Three workers basically here three browsers. Okay, so now if I want to open the report, we can run this command. Okay, npx playwright show report. This this command will open the report. But if we go here, you can see there is a folder playwright report is created. In this folder, we have one report. If I open this, you will see the execution report. One test executed on three browsers: Chromium, Firefox. Babkit and this is the execution time taken by the playwright. Okay, so also in the suggestion, you can see there are some more commands, right? If we want to run only a single browsers like Chromium, just add here hyphen hyphen project equal to Chromium. So in this case, it will launch and run your test only on Chromium browsers, not other browsers. You can see the execution running one test using one worker. One worker is basically here the Chromium. So your test is executed only one browsers, right? And now if I want to get the report, we can run the command npx playwright show report it will open the execution report report is opened here yeah. 
okay so here we have some more commands which will helps to run the uh, test uh, using different different mod like this is the npx playwright test run like hyphen hyphen debug and we have npx playwright code chain so debug will helps to run the test in the debug mod npx playwright code chain this will helps us to run the test in the recording mod right where we can record the test so these are the few suggestions using these suggestions we can execute and we can use the commands for execution as well as for recording so we will discuss in more details in the coming tutorials where i will show you how we run in debug mod how we also run using the option code gen okay thanks for watching the video